Hello, this is an introduction to Complete Java Web Services. My name is Jim White, the course author. So what is Complete Java Web Services all about? Well, the objectives of our class begin with trying to get an understanding of web services and how it relates to SOA, Service Oriented Architecture. We also want you to become familiar with the five key pillar specifications of web services, that is SOAP-based web services, which includes XML, XML Schema, SOAP, WSDL, and UDDI. We want you to understand the best patterns and practices around SOAP-based web services, in particular for developing the schema and WSDL interface documents. We'll explore the development of Java web services using JAX-WS and RESTful web services in Java using JAX-RS. We also want you to understand how WSDL and schema in SOAP-based web services map to Java objects. We'll explore how to make highly interoperable web services. And we'll also explore how to make RESTful web services and how those compare to SOAP-based web services. What do we expect of you in taking our complete Java web services class? Well, it is going to be a Java programming class, and so we expect you to be familiar with Java. Do you understand what a Java class is? How to create a Java instance or an object out of that class? Have a basic understanding of constructors, properties, and methods. If you do, you should find you have the skills to take our complete Java web service class. Now, an understanding of markup language, and in particular XML, will be very helpful, but not absolutely required. Our classes are comprised of about 60% of the time spent in lecture, while 40% of the time is spent on hands-on labs. And it's in the labs where we think the lessons really hit home. Where you run into difficulties, you'll find solutions are provided to you, both in hard copy printout form, as well as soft copy form. Here's a look at our class in a little bit more detail. It's a four-day class where the first half of the, half of the class is dedicated to XML-based technologies that are instrumental in SOAP-based web services. The latter half of our class, the last two days, are focusing in on Java's implementation of services. So in day one, we're going to look at SOA and its relationship to web services. We'll also look at XML syntax and namespaces and then begin our exploration of schema. Towards day two, we'll look at schema best practices and patterns, and then get into SOAP and WSDL and wrap up with UDDI and versioning, versioning of things like the XML schema and WSDL documents. In the latter half of our class, again, starting with day three, looking at Java web services, we take a look at the API for Java web service development. We look at how schema and WSDL map to Java objects. Then we look at implementation of Java web services through JAX-WS specification, as well as looking at how to build Java web service clients. Handlers provide for pre and post processing and will be discovered a little bit later on in our class. And we wrap up on the last day of class exploring RESTful based web services using JAX-RS in Java. The environment of our class is set up to use Java 6. We also use Eclipse as our IDE, and that Eclipse environment uses Apache CXF and Apache Tomcat to help implement and run our Java-based web services and web service clients. We use a tool called Actual Diagnostics to explore SOAP-based web services, and to make our applications a little bit more real-world-like, we'll use in our lab a database called HSQLDB. If you prefer, a version of our class has been built for Rational Application Developer, which you could substitute in place of Eclipse. Well, that's about it. I look forward to seeing you in our complete Java Web Services class real soon.